what do you call a fake noodle an impasta <laughs> get you some <laughs> party people this is Courtney welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can see I am outside in mother nature my favorite spot to be in the summertime I got my neck cooler on and I got me a nice drink now this is just seltzer with some pop and bubble you know I like those and some frozen grapes so ready to get started now as you know i do product reviews and i do book reviews so i figured i would kind of mix and match because i am still reading some books but first off let me show you my nails i was fortunate enough to get these this is like the french manicure they actually came short like this which is awesome because your girl cannot have a long nail it bugs me so this is called melody susie don't matter it's a press on nail they're short really really cute I enjoy these it comes with a little adhesive here but I'm not about that life because these things do not stick I only need them to stick for like a day or two so I normally just use this nail glue you brush it on instead of that little one where you squeeze and BAM I got some nails for the day love it love it love it I also got these little jerky sticks which are cool this is called snack mates I got chicken and maple. I got some pizza. Sorry, it's backwards. I'm filling on my cell phone. Chicken and apple. And not sure why this is in a bag, but this is turkey. So you got some free range going on, free of antibiotics and hormones. Yep, all of these are that. So more of a natural stick. Now, what I think is very curious about these is that it says each of these which comes with five um two sticks is a serving of 50 calories so it says the whole container is 130 calories how you get that math i have no idea but i'm gonna let that one go but these suckers are actually really really good i enjoy it oh and it's free not gonna go wrong with that i eat beef but i try not to anyway so a book that i already read it's called Summer by Honesty Price. Now, this book is actually five intertwining stories set in 2020 of black love from different perspectives, which was really, really good. This book has enemies to lovers. It has friends to lovers. It has a stand-up comic calling all women evil because she, some girl did them dirty. You have a married couple that is bonding more together after some sort of Black Lives Matter protest. And you have some good old fashioned dick in a box made on a 3D printer. <laughs> Just hilarious stories. It's like five short stories all within one book, but they intertwine with each other. Really, really good. It is sexy kind of bare bones sexy I will say I didn't really feel much of the chemistry except for that married couple but you know it was in there it checked all the blocks of what the steamy stuff that's supposed to have about it um, I thought the books were heartwarming they were funny um, they were bold and just very realistic from the standpoint of what I have experienced as a black person I thought that this book started out making me mad and angry and frustrated which turned more into laughter and curiosity and a little bit of steaminess. So overall, just really, really good book. I definitely think you should check it out. It is called Summer by Honesty Price. Now, I am still reading this other book, They Never Learn, but I'm going to get back to this and I'll come back another day and talk some more books. This bird is going to town on the ends on my deck. It's well, you can see I am determined to be out here. I got genderqueer on sprints. Let me go ahead and turn this down. <laughs> and I got my ice packs. <laughs> I got this one. And I got some iced tea. Ready to roll. 
Okay, so I just finished <laughs> They Never Learn. It is a psychological thriller in which you have a 16 year serial killer veteran named Scarlett who is a professor at a university and she meticulously plots and kills males who prey on the female students. And while she is in the midst of plotting her next murder, there is an investigation into the apparent suicides on campus. Meanwhile, you have student Carly, who is discovering her own identity and dealing with the assault on her female roommate. So throughout this book, you're trying to discover the connection between those two characters. Really good book. Um, I rooted for <laughs> this killer. Generally, you're like, I want them to get caught. But I think that the guys that she murdered in this book definitely deserved it. I enjoyed the journey of self-discovery for Carly and how she's getting woke to how men do tend to prey on females, not just in college campuses, but in real life. And I think that's just all too much of a reality, which is sad. I love the back end love story and I think it's nuts how students now call professors by their first name. When I was in college, it didn't go down like that, but I definitely enjoyed this story. Now I'm sweating my tail off. Okay, I'm gonna go see what else I can get myself into and I'll be back. So I'm back and before I tell you about the books that I read, look at these cool little butterfly clips. Gives you a bit of an ethereal feel. I think these will be great for an event. Really pretty, but they make some noise. <laughs> now the last two books I'm gonna talk about is part of a series called The Fallen Angel Series by M.L. Sexton. Now this is currently a duology, but I think there's some other books that are going to be written later on and added to this series. But right now you have Demon Time and Hell Hath No Fury. Now this is a dark fantasy that was very good. Now in these books you have bad boy fallen angel Hezekiah who now owns a ranch in Texas and then you have half nymph half fairy Pharaoh who is a virgin slash now on my whole game soon as she meets Hezekiah. <laughs> and as they get to know each other and of course get their groove on because this is a sexy fantasy then you have them trying to help maintain that balance between good and evil when you have Lucifer and you have Hades and some others, demons, angels, and some witches that are trying to get this ultimate power source in order for them to control the world. Eventually Hezekiah and Pharaoh learn that there's more to saving the world when they learn about some prophecy. Now in these books, you see a lot of names from Greek mythology as well as from the Bible. You have Hades, you have Lucifer, Mordecai, Belladonna, the list goes on and on and on. Very interesting. You can actually look up the history of a lot of these individuals and their place inside of the books actually relate to where you actually hear them in mythology and in the Bible. I thought that the books were fast paced. You had a lot of plot twists. You have tons of betrayals. I liked all of the action. There was a lot of crazy fights and a lot of magic used. And you had a lot of sexy and unique characters. And when it comes to all of the sexy stuff, now this started quick. Like it was page three when you started seeing just some steamy stuff. I was like, okay, this book is going to be great. <laughs> and I thought it was interesting how Pharaoh actually heals individuals. Now I'm just gonna say, Hezekiah may have liked it, but I do not want her healing me. Just let me die, okay? I thought the books had a lot of quick transitions from one scene to the next. There was no fluff. The details that were presented in the book were everything that was needed. So I felt that that was really good because the books went by very quickly. And one last thing that I will say is that there was a lot of not so clear consent to relations inside of the books. But overall, I felt that these were really great books. I enjoyed them. I'm looking forward to any further books inside of this Fallen Angel series.
so that is it for me in this week i have had some really good books i think uh very interesting and i know there's some other great books that i've already picked up that i'm excited to get my hands on and get back into fantasy so i am going to continue to dressing myself up <laughs> keep my theme for the day and i will see you next time i hope that you have a great day and i will hopefully see you on sprints on tuesdays bye bye